Hello guys. So today we begin at 11, <clears throat> not at 10 o'clock. And hope uh, this uh, session will be good as the other sessions. And um, <clears throat> for this uh, live session, uh, the major thing I'm going to talk is um, two things. Earning news and stop loss. Now, a lot of, a lot of people, they got a lot of uh, losses because of these two uh, things no i'm not going to uh, to tell you about all the trading problems that we that a trader can see because um, <clears throat> each person <clears throat> will have to deal with some kind of problems now understand that traders um, are not the same okay traders are not the same so each trader has some specific problems that he is uh, facing so when i talk in general i talk about uh, general um general uh, mistakes or problems but uh, most of the time these two problems is the heart of many of many of the losses uh, hello free trader how are you so uh, as I told you so in this session uh, I am going to speak about two problems there are a lot of problems I uh, I put them into uh, a training level how to fix your trading problems uh, I think training level 17 um, so free trader said I'm doing good. What about you? Yes, I'm very good. Thank you. So um, these two problems affect uh, short-term traders, and stop loss affect day traders and short-term traders or swing trade uh, swing uh, traders. So, because stop loss is something general, but it is the heart of uh, a big problem in trading. I will explain, because a lot of people, uh, they have a vague idea what is a stop loss, okay? Uh, and this vague idea makes them lose money a lot. Uh, during their life of trading during the year uh, they will lose a lot of traders because of this stop loss but the problem is that um, they don't know how or why this is happening to them they think it is just happening to them not to ha not to happen to everybody so this stop loss is a general thing. Now, the main idea about uh, stop loss is just to see how much you want to risk in this trade. That's that's stop loss is. It's not something else, and it's not it's not something that when you put stop loss, you think that the stock will not go down to that stop loss. This is another mistake. Stop loss is, is about you, not about the, the stock or about the stock market. It's about you. How much you can bear if the stock goes down. And if it goes down to your stop loss. Do you accept that? Okay? So that is the main thing about stop loss. Okay? This is, so this is in just in general. Now there are ways a lot of ways to do stop loss according to what you are trading okay so stocks are different they are not the same you can't put 
a, a very very tight stop loss to a stock that it is volatile you can't just just when you do the trade you will exit each time hello there Nasir Anucci bonsoir comment allez-vous so um, so uh, stop loss is just uh, to check um, what is your own risk that's that's the, that's the main thing it has nothing to do with the stock or with the stock market or with other traders it's 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 uh, you should think always about you okay think about yourself how to protect your money that is the most important thing in stop loss and if you think you put stop loss where the stock doesn't go do down to it you are mistaken okay because stop loss it, it is not because when you put stop loss uh, the stock doesn't go to it no a lot of people think like that think that there are some people who knows where to put stop loss and the stock will never trigger this stop loss this is stupid who will do that okay except when the stock is 20 and you put 20 dollars and you put stop loss at one dollar so <laughs> for years <clears throat> even if the stock goes down four years your stop loss will not be triggered but is this your goal uh, that uh, the stock doesn't go to your stop loss is this your goal if is if this is your goal you are mistaken you are mistaken because you will be losing a lot of money and stop loss is set to protect your money from having bigger losses understand this is the the main thing that a lot of people they don't understand i'm always repeating it in my uh, videos but a lot of people they don't think about it and then when they get um a lot of losses at the end of the year they will be astonished how do they get these losses it's just because they don't see what they are doing and this is another problem that we are not going to talk about today okay so um <clears throat> Uh, free trader said yes risk management is crucial in the stock market always be safe in the market in case the stock doesn't go your way risk tolerance yes this is uh, what we mean is uh, I'm not saying to be safe in the market but to give the market what you have planned to give uh, as as risk so because when you do the stop loss you expect certain kind of money now uh, just uh, yesterday someone i told him to fix his problem with the stop loss and to review uh, training level six about how to use the stop loss now and he showed me his his trades the stop the the stops that he has done are so so tight that the stock doesn't move <laughs> he strangled the stock if uh, uh, that it means if you put a very very tight stop loss because you are scared to lose now this problem scared to lose is another problem but I'm not going to talk about it uh, today because um, it's something psychological and it needs a lot of attention now um, um, when the stock moves for example <coughs> um, hello uh, Jonathan Ferraro how are you uh, hello Wiseman uh, I will uh, I will answer your question uh, Jonathan Ferraro just in a minute uh, hello uh, Wiseman how are you now uh, if the stock let's say it is 50 dollars 
each day, most of the days, it goes one dollar each day. Are you going to put 50 cent stop loss? No. Because if it moves down one dollar or two, you will be out. And if you do this to the same old stocks that you have, you will be exiting out without any reason. And you see that the stock is going up today, uh, each day. But whenever you buy this stock, you exit. And you ask yourself why. Now, you ask yourself why because you have done a mistake. Okay? You have done a mistake and you continue doing the same mistake. This is the, this is the, the, the main problem that I'm always asking uh, a lot of people or people who are watching. It's just to take care of. If you are doing the same mistake, you will have the same results. Okay? Now, let's go to, um, uh, to the question of Jonathan Ferraro. What's the best way to find stocks that will go up? Okay. Listen, uh, Jonathan. You have to get the training. Okay? So it's not a magic formula that we have. But there are ways to search in each mood of the market if the market is going up if the market is going down uh, if there is a reverse so uh jonathan ferraro you can um you can just go to my website jalala.net okay you can click on that on the chat and then you leave it this is my website and you take training level three training level one is for free just get it to understand all my strategies and then you can do the golden subscription or you just um, or you just order training level two level three level four and you continue like that whatever you want okay so if uh, you need uh, uh, if you have questions later tomorrow or something you can send me uh, you can send me an email. Here is my email. Okay? And you always find my website and my email in the description. Just just, just go to this uh, description uh, video here right now. You can click any link that you like. But this is the most important thing that I will show, I will show to you. Uh, Jonathan, here <coughs> I speak, I give general education about uh, short-term trading or swing trading or day trading sometimes investing so this is a general knowledge so i give my way of doing business okay so i explain a lot of things but in uh, but my training is different training is direct thing you do this and this and this and this okay so if you are searching for stocks you will go i will show you how to search for stocks okay that's that's the main thing um Tesla, how are you? Nice to meet you again. Okay. Uh, Tesla, he said, you said that you don't buy gap apps, but watch our market. Gap apps has a lot of opportunities, a lot of... Um, no, who tells you? Who tells you that I don't buy gap apps? Who tells you? I don't buy gap ups the same day. Yes, I don't. I will never buy that. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid to buy the gap up and then it goes down. Uh, most of the time it goes down. Most of the time. When you say 80%, it goes down. So I will see. Uh, I will see. Uh, because the gap up, a lot of stocks. When they get the go up, uh, the gap, the gap up, they continue to go up, but not all of them. So I have strategies, Tesla. I have strategies. All my students know how I do into the gap up because it's a training. Okay. So, but I have never said don't. Ah, uh, yes, I say don't buy the gap up the same day. Yes, I don't buy the same day. For example, today. A stock has a gap up i would never buy it i will buy it later there are some techniques that i use in order to know if this stock is good for me yes or no 
okay so but i don't i don't follow gap apps i don't follow them for me i follow trends there is a difference between a gap app and a trend a trend you see it it's going up a gap app it, it, it comes today tomorrow it can go down and you can lose a lot of money okay so if you if you just see a gap app and you enter this is a stupid thing to buy in the first day i'm telling you sometimes there is a gap up but it begins high and it goes d down and it is green if you buy it the next day it go down you will be losing a lot of money so listen uh tesla when i'm speaking about something i am very very precise of what i'm saying okay so opportunities i see them daily gap apps or not gap apps i see them so if i am uh if i am in uh, in in stocks i don't have money to buy more because the market always each day it gives you opportunities and those stocks sometimes are new sometimes they are old depends on what is the phase they are in so because there are many strategies to buy a stock you don't buy stocks because they are going up you can buy stocks that are going down then they, there is a reverse so all these are strategies that i am using and i should make sure that the stock is a strong not any stock can be a good to buy okay uh tesla say bonsoir tout le monde yes bonsoir comment allez-vous Jonathan Ferrer said, okay, thank you. What type of trading do you see best results? Swing trading, day trading, penny stocks. Now listen, Jonathan Ferraro, anything you do, you should study it separately. For example, if you, you are good at taking actions very quick and you, la and you have the morning off, for example, you have a second job okay let's say you begin at three o'clock or you begin at five o'clock or six o'clock in the afternoon and the whole morning you have time and you like action so you should be a day trader because you wake up at eight o'clock or nine you prepare yourself and then you begin finding stocks at 9 30 and you see the news if there is any good news or bad news if it is good news you go long it means you buy because you think the stock is going up if there are bad news you think that this stock will go down so you sell short this is uh, what we call day trading now swing trading is when you are looking for trends for a long time few days few weeks few months you want to stay to see a stock going up for many weeks or many months so you are patient so this is not investing you don't invest in this stock you just trade you stay weeks or months when you got a lot of money the trend stops going up it's going down you sell penny stocks is another thing penny stocks you should do day trading and you can do uh, uh, swing trading you can do both if you like uh, very very volatile stocks you should see penny stocks but there are some penny stocks that doesn't go that much so you can do swing trading again so penny stocks has nothing to do with uh, day trading or swing trading swing trading and day trading they are styles of trading and i teach both so if you do golden subscription you will find 13 training you find training level 11 and 12 about day trading if you know just techniques how to find the stocks uh, how to buy long how to sell short all this stuff you can find them how to put stop loss okay um tesla i guess your strategy is very simple yes my strategies are very some very simple but very strong and effective if if you do what i'm telling you and you find a good stock you can't make real money okay it's not uh, you are looking for 100 dollars 200 dollars you will be looking for thousands of dollars for each trade if it goes right 
and you are not scared. Now, uh, can you give me an example of a trend in a ticker? Uh, we have thousands of... You, you don't see Dow Jones? I will give you right now, because you talk. <laughs> you, you have been here, Tesla, you have been here for nine weeks. Okay? Two months and one week. Okay? Did you see the Dow Jones? I will show it to you. I will show you trends. Now, this is Dow Jones trend. Let's go to... Um, let's go to... Um, uh, to Dow Jones. I will show you. Let's find the Dow Jones. Uh, look, look, uh, Tesla, look, look, do you see that? Do you see that? This is a trend. Are you okay with this? This is not. This is good. Not good. Little. 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 Oh, Apple is not doing that much. This one, Visa, IBM. TRV. You see? Some are excellent trends. I'm making express. So, as you can see, a lot of trends. Some are good, some are bad. Oh, gap down for, uh, for Coca-Cola is too bad. Okay. Let's stay with uh, Boeing. So, as you can see, from 313 to 440, this is around 33% three, profit in this Boeing. Now, three traders said gaps, mostly the gaps close. Hello, uh, Cloud Twitter account. How come you buy, but you don't check the weekly, weekly show from strong resistance and resistance or the main one to take? Listen, what is the weekly? You mean the weekly chart? Why should I see, see the weekly chart? I don't trade the weekly chart. I don't trade the monthly chart. Because the monthly chart or the weekly, you can lose a lot of money if you are using the, the weekly candlestick. That's why for me, it's the daily. So swing trading is about daily candlesticks. It's not weekly or monthly. Okay? In a week, a stock can lose 50% of its money. So if I, uh, if I leave, I put stop loss according to weekly, I will be losing a lot of money. Okay? So I don't, I don't use it. And you say, weekly shows some strong resistance, and uh, no, uh, listen, Cloud Twitter account, I don't use uh, your resistance and, uh, and uh, resistance, what you say, strong resistance to, to buy or to sell or to take a decision. I have other criteria. I don't. So it's maybe you are using this, you yourself, it's not me. <clears throat> okay? Now, Tesla said, we know that each stock has a pattern, but a lot of professional traders observe them, especially in the trend or downtrend. 
I don't trade patterns. Okay? Tesla. I don't trade patterns because a pattern is may is different from one stock to another stock and you will have thousands of patterns of stocks i just showed you the stocks for the trend almost of dow jones stocks have trends but this is these trends are not the same so what is this pattern that you are following and if you don't find your pattern are you going to trade yes or no and how it will be an uh, excellent pattern as you can see it. Okay? So I don't use patterns to trade. And this is the thing. Okay? So, so uh, understand that my training... If you go to see my training, you will, you will never find patterns. I don't teach patterns and I don't have patterns. Because my criteria gives you the stock as it is. Whatever pattern it is, I enter or I don't enter according to my criteria. Not, not because of the pattern that I see. Okay? Now, uh, CVX is has good one. So CV, CVX or Chevron, which is a very, very old company, okay? It is from the 26th I told you before. Do you remember the 26th December? I always talk about most of the stocks, they have been going up from this day. This is the reverse. And this is an old stock. It follow Dow Jones. Now, if I put... And it is part, I just showed to you. It isn't Dow Jones. Chevron Corp. It's, I, I, I just showed it to you with Boeing. Here is Boeing. Here is Chevron. I just, I just showed it to you. But uh, can you compare Chevron Corporation with Boeing? Boeing is better. Okay? It's better. As the, it's clean. It's very big. We have a gap up and it's going good. Now, <clears throat> yes, uh, Jonathan Ferraro said, do you believe the market is just about to start its, its downtrend? No, it's the opposite. Jonathan, I know you are new here. You are not following me from the beginning. But we have been following Dow Jones for the whole year, last year and this year. There is a reverse in 26 December, I just showed. Last year, before the end of the year 2018, the 26 December 2018 was the reverse. It means the stock market was going down into a bear market and then it changed suddenly its direction. So from that time until now, and I am telling the people, bye, bye, bye. But people, they don't, they don't listen until the end. Now, you should not be scared to trade. And you are always thinking that the market will collapse. If you are thinking that, you should stop, take your money from your account, from trading account, and go do some, some other business. You are not an investor. You are not staying the whole life in the stock market. You are doing a trade. A trade, it means you buy a stock. If it, if it goes into a trend, you stay. If it goes down, you sell. Is that simple? Yes. That's what we do. We are not going to stay in a, in a bear market and the stocks are going down. We go to short the stocks. 
we don't go long we, sh we should do the opposite because you should follow the trends how do they do okay you follow the trends you don't go opposite the trend if the trend is going down you can't go long you will be crushed and you lose a lot of money now SSRC SSRC I don't know what's this this is recorded I joined late and missing the beginning will you publish this, this later yes now listen um, uh, this will be this live video will be showing tomorrow so don't don't worry about something in the past but if you have questions you can ask you can ask now don't wait until tomorrow you can ask now because we are live <sighs> tesla said somebody shows you sldb at which when it was seven now it is 30 percent and you said now to the stock which is this uh, SLDB when when is that last week or this week Oh, you mean you mean last week or the other week? The SLB? See what's wh yes, what's the problem? For me for me I haven't I will not buy it. On that time that he showed me. He showed me when it was. I don't know which uh, which day he, uh, it was, but he showed me I think I think here I think on the 8th of uh, February and uh, there is something that I will I will tell you from now okay you you might you you uh, you might not know when someone showed me a stock it's at that day impression should I know what will happen in the future? No. I will not trade the future. It doesn't mean that you should wait. What if the stock collapses from 7, it goes now to 5? What do you say? Oh, you say you are right? or you are, And then if it goes up, you say you are wrong. No, I am not right or wrong because I didn't buy the stock. I don't care. If the stock goes from 7, it goes to 100. If I am not in, what's the problem? Now, if you you want to buy, you don't ask me. You buy according to what you, to what you see, not at as I see. I don't give you recommendations. So Tesla, when I am here doing this uh, live show or explaining things, I don't give recommendation for people to buy this stock or to to see, because if there is another gap down in this stock. And the stock from seven it goes to two dollars or one dollar oh you will say oh you are right yes the stock oh hope i am not in that stock okay so we don't trade in the past it's not i see a stock today oh and i tell you oh this is a good stock no but i know how to buy it when it was uh, it was on the buy time okay this stock can continue to go to do good and it can go down at any moment so no one knows okay so if you believe tesla i'm telling you this for for sure if you believe a stock according to your criteria is good buy it don't follow me i don't know the future if you make money it's for you if you lose it's for you it's not for me okay so you do whatever you want and understand that in most of the cases i don't buy gap downs 
most of the cases, 99.99, .99, I don't buy gap downs. It's risky. Okay? It's risky. It might continue to go down. And almost all the stocks, when they have gone down, it may, it may lead to uh, more going down. And this is a problem. Now, Jonathan Ferraro said, how do you know when the market will start in downtrend? Do you use the chart indicators? Uh, um, no, I don't use indicators. I have certain techniques that I use to see if the market is strong or weak. So, I know because you are new or you have been trading in other places, a lot of people, they talk about indicators, but for me, I don't use them at all. I don't use them. So my way of trading is different from other people. But I use indicators when, when I was a beginner, yes. MACD, RSI, and the other stuff. <laughs> when I was beginning, I used them, but later I discovered they are useless. That's why I don't use any. And understand, what is an indicator? You should, you should get this right. An indicator, it is just a combination or a sum up of closing of days. Mostly we have two lines. And if they cross, you buy or you sell. But this is not true. If you change the days, the buy and the, uh, the, buy and the sell changes. So this is not a true. So this is a false. Most of the indicators are false. They are lagging information. It means they give you information that it is not accurate. Because if you change the days, okay, if you change the days, the buy and the sell points will change. Uh, Rahmatullah Moody, how are you? Uh, hello, uh, Rahmatullah. I haven't seen you for ages. Uh, Trump D, hi, how are you? Now, let's continue. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Rahmatullah. He said, using your strategies, I apply in options. I made a lot of uh, money. Uh, I have, uh, I have made a training in ebook, how to buy calls and options on the puts according to my strategy and I publish this ebook uh, uh, in my website you can check that and it's very good just to show you that you can buy options according to stocks strategies because options follow follow stocks okay so if the stock goes up the option goes up if the if the stocks go down the option go down. Uh, yes, uh, SSRC. I have uh, I have answered your question. I say yes. This video will be published tomorrow. Yes, you you write it uh, twice. I see it. You say you will, uh, will you publish this later? You say yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow you will find this live tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, Trump said, you know, you show that defense industry in trend. How do you define the trend? A trend is just some, some daily candlesticks going up. I just I just showed Dow Jones. Trump, I will show you something. I will show you Boeing. This is a trend. Now, describe it whatever you want to describe it. For me, it is something that it is going up. Here, at the beginning, it's uh, 313. Now, it's 440. So, the stock got got like 33 percent okay so this is a trend up and this is a trend down 
I just give you an example, small, small trend down, small trend down, this is a trend, uh, this is a bigger trend, this is a smaller trend. So most of the stocks go into trends, up and down, according to, uh, to what they do. Okay? Now, MK Khan uh, back me. So, um, So, uh, MK Khan, single white man. So, what do you mean by back me? I don't understand what you say. So, could you write a sentence or ask a question? Uh, I wouldn't buy uh, Boeing looks extended. Yes. It's nine weeks. Okay. Trump. It's nine weeks. When I'm speaking about there is a trend. After nine weeks, you wake up. You were sleeping. Each week, I'm telling you, stocks are going up. Stocks are going. Each week, you can go to my live for nine weeks. And you are with me. You are here. Each week. And then, when the trend is big, and then the people, they say, oh, there is a trend. Where this trend was? It was nine weeks, and I'm speaking about this. <laughs> Okay, I bought a lot of stocks from the beginning. That's why I want to share with you guys sometimes some information. And they say the, the stock market is strong, but people they don't buy because they are scared. You don't see the trend when it was a small. So you should believe in the trend. Even if you don't succeed, you should believe because you don't know the future. Okay. Uh, Basan, Basan, how are you? SSRC, how long in not extended then? So I don't know. I don't know where the trend will go. Does it go for two months like now? Does it go for four months, six months, one year, two? I don't know, depending on the whole market. But it is good to buy at the beginning of the trend, not to buy at the end. You can find some other stocks that are still at the beginning. You can buy them. You don't buy those that are already into a trend. Because all the people want to be with a winner. But when the stock is, is just in beginning of the trend, no one wants to buy, especially beginners. Beginners, they don't buy something they don't see. They don't see a trend, so they don't buy it. They don't want to bet their money on this, because they want a sure thing. That's why the stock market doesn't work like this. The stock market asks you to bet on something. If you are right, you will get the profits you want, or you, de you deserve. But if you want to wait until you see trends, this, it means you are late. Now, when you are late, you have a disadvantage. You are late. It's like a party. The party begins at 8 o'clock and finishes at 2 o'clock. You, you come at 1.30. It means at the end. You know, people are tired of partying. They want to go home. So that's it. So you should learn how to come early. To come early, you should know the date, what time, and you should be there on time. And this is the training that I am teaching. It is just to be on time, not to be late. Uh, SSRC, 
Do you look at 200 uh, uh, single moving average for buying criteria? No, I don't use moving averages. No moving averages. I am not an investor. Some investors, they use it, but I, I am not an investor. I don't use moving averages. Moving averages, when you say 200, what does it mean 200? It means you calculate 200 closing days and you follow the, the line. For me, I don't use moving averages. I will write it for you. I don't use moving averages. I don't use indicators. Okay? I don't use them. So these two things that you you might heard of and you see a lot of people uh, trade and a lot of people explain, I don't use. Okay? My, my strategies are very simple and it has a simple criteria and you should use the chart. If you don't know how to use the chart, you can, uh, you have a training about the chart in my website. You just go there to my website and take the free training about the chart. At least you will, uh, you will get it right. Okay? So, um, now let's uh, continue our subject, which is how to fix your trading problems. Today, uh, I, am I am going to speak about two things, stop loss and earning news. A lot of people get hit because of this gap down. A lot of people. You buy a stock, you don't see the earning news, and then one day you get a gap down and you don't understand why this stock has been going to a gap down. So, uh, to solve this problem is very easy. Before you buy the stock that you find, you find a good stock, you want to buy it, you should see what, where is, or when is the earning news. So, if you know, you should most of the time exit before this stock goes to earning news. Sometimes it has a gap up, sometimes it has a gap down. But since you are a beginner and you are scared to stay and you hold, you can exit your trade before the earnings. At least if we have uh, if we have um, uh, because if you hold the stock and you don't know the earning news, what will happen to you is that sometimes you get a gap down. Gap down, it means you are not expected to get that much loss. And this is too bad. Too bad when you, when you are thinking your stop loss is only $100 and then the next day you lose $1,000. This is too big. To avoid this, you should check the earning news before the stock, before you buy the stock. If, you, if for example, you buy the stock today and tomorrow is the earning news, why you buy it? Are you going to stay? If you are going to stay, understand that you are having a big risk. If you are okay with that, it's your problem. Because when you lose $1,000, you will be okay with that. Okay? But if you don't want to stay in earning news, you should check the stock before you buy it. This is very simple. Uh, hello, uh, Shikar Sud. How do we know that market is volatile and how to avoid it? Now, market vol um, the market is volatile is last year. Is last year because the market we don't the the people they don't know where is the trend, so they buy a few days and they sell. They buy and they sell. They buy and they sell. This is how to know that the market uh, is volatile. Also, when this volatile market ends, how will come to know? So, Shikar Sud, let me 
Because you, I think you have not been watching me last year when we had the correction. I have ex each week, I have done one or two or three uh, uh, videos explaining what's, what's going into the market. Always. If you watch all my videos from the beginning, from the end of January 2017, uh, January 2018, then the begin the beginning i will show you just uh, a moment so please check i will just show you <clears throat> how the dow jones by dow jones okay look at this now this is this is the end here this is the end of 2017 this is 2018 2018 you see the stocks are going down and up down and up down and up down and up all the monsters down and up ex except except for this one three months here now you see going down going up going down going up these are just few weeks one week or two three weeks down two weeks or three up Two weeks or that these are not trends so you can't make money you can't make a lot of money but look look when there is the change the change comes here in 26 december i have told you guys when there is the reverse the stock market has been going so good since then see from 26 december to uh today which is the first of march you see that first of march january and february were were good two excellent months to buy stocks now when i was doing the videos i always say the market is strong for those who don't believe me, you can go to my live, let's say, where is it here? Friday. You can go to 4th of January, Friday, video, which is a live, and then you can go to 11 January, you can go to 18 January, uh, January. you can go to, where is this? Uh... 25 January uh, 1st of February 8th of February 15th of February 22 February and the 1st of March all these weeks i have been speaking about strong stock almost all the stocks in dow jones have been doing so good and the whole market it's not just dow jones s p 500 and russell 2000. so this is how uh, things change now shikar sud you should follow the general index that you have you follow it what he's doing and you apply my rules on the on the index okay but understand that the stocks are not all doing the same some stocks are doing excellent some stocks are doing good some some stocks are doing bad so you should know which stocks are good which stocks are bad uh aura pronobis how are you uh, thanks you for coming i haven't seen you for a long time uh, Minya Pan Muni, thank you, sir, for coming. Dr. Uh, Trump, the market is crazy. The trend will collapse at the end. Institutions know the date. They know better than us. Okay, so uh, stay and uh, go sleep. And uh, make the clock on the end of the institution. The, when, the ring, uh, um, when you see the ring bell, the bell rings. You wake up and then you see that the stock market is going down. So why you are waiting for the stock to, to go down? Why you are waiting for the stock to go down? 
No one knows any date. Okay? If someone knows something, he will be a billionaire in one month. No one knows anything. So stop. You should buy on time. If, you, if it is not on time, don't buy. No one asks you to buy. And if you are predicting something, trading is not about predicting. You are just wasting your time. Because any stupid person can predict. You go to the street and you ask them when the market will collapse. Each one will give you a date. But one of them will be right in the future. So it doesn't mean that he knows. Because if he knows that the market will be collapsing next week, okay, he will know where to put his money. So don't try to predict because you are just wasting your time. You should have techniques to trade. If the stock colla uh, collapse, you sell short the, the market. Let's make some money on the downside. Why you are scared about the stock market going down? It, it, okay, it go down and go, we go down. So why you are scared? You are not an investor who has uh, millions of dollars and you are just wasting, waiting your time, wa waiting until the market collapse and you lose your money. No one is doing that except for you. Okay? Uh... All our probabilities say the VIX is low, low volatility right now. I don't follow the VIX because the stocks, each stock is the same. They are not the same. So the VIX, it doesn't show anything for me, so I don't follow it. Okay? And uh, volatility, uh, each stock is different. The people who use VIX who have billions of dollars to see the whole market what's doing but we are just the traders so it's not it's not uh, good to try to use certain things that it is not for you because when you see people talking some people they talk they talk about themselves if, if a mutual friend is is talking about something it is because of his uh, of his uh, large capital that he has He's not speaking about some people who have no money. Okay? <sighs> Tesla said, Karim, according to your experience, what this trend that you see now? Which trend? I told you from 26 December, I see a strong trend until now. And the future? I don't know. <laughs> because you, you just tell me that the market will collapse. So it's your opinion. So I don't know if it collapses or not. So I don't care. For me, I am in until I see differently. I don't see something that it is not in the market. I can't see it. It's not there. Okay? So when I see the chart and you tell me that next week the market will collapse, I don't see it. I don't see the future. If I see the future, I will be a billionaire in one month. That's why I don't. I am not a billionaire because I don't see. Now you, if you see something, you are you are a visionary. Put all your money uh, in which stock you see it will grow one thousand times uh, in a day, or I don't know. And you put all your money there, and you will be more than uh, Warren Buffett in one month. You don't need uh, to have billions of dollars. Okay. So, yes, yes, this is what uh, Oral Probably said. Trade in the direction the market dictates, no predictions. You should not predict in the market. Let's say tomorrow, let's say Monday, the, the market collapse. Let's say this. No one knows. How, ca how can you know about something that it doesn't exist? Okay? If the market is good, we are with it. If it collapses, we sell short. Or we take our money and we don't trade. Is that, uh, is that good for you? Do what is good for you. It is your money. You should protect your money. Uh, put your money aside when you don't trade. If you are scared to trade, the market is uh, volatile, don't trade. Why you push yourself to trade? 
okay you trade when there is an opportunity that you see okay if there is no opportunity don't buy that's why sometimes when people are searching and they don't find a good stock in the day do not buy let it for tomorrow maybe you find better stocks it's not a, that you have money and you want to buy today this is stubbornness that makes you lose a lot of money so the market is about opportunities it is not about to force yourself to trade no one forces you the broker doesn't ask you to break to trade the bank doesn't ask you your friends doesn't ask you so why you trade where there is no opportunity for you okay so now uh, we have spoken about um, earning uh, news and gap downs understand guys that i see a lot of guys they send me emails when it is when they get a gap down for example and they say oh we have a gap down a gap down is your problem why you don't see the stock earning news why okay you should you should learn the lesson from now anything that takes you a lot of money you should stop you should find a solution if you don't know if you don't know, if you don't know the solution try to send me an email because in my in my training i tried to fix all the problems uh the problems of the traders especially training level 17 you find training level 17 it has 28 problems it i i solve them all according to what i know you have a problem you know you have a problem you should solve it you should con you should not continue trading with the same problem because if you do it again and again uh, for example in earning news one time for example you get a gap up you are happy with it but you can have a gap down and you lose a lot of money so you should think about the worst and you protect your money okay now uh, another thing that i always speak about is stop loss a lot of people they don't understand and they continue um they continue uh to do the thing now uh let's uh, answer some question before i go to the stop loss or a probably said i shorted goose for one dollar fifty gain today because the chart was great for a short time the charts and candles paint a picture Nazarenochi, the trend is your friend follow the price price doesn't lie thank you very much uh, Nazarenochi. you seem you understand better than me because i sometimes forgot <laughs> okay um uh, when you sell short when you are a day trader you should have a good chart that gives you direct access it means when you see the ticker the tick the ticker or the price moving it should be real because sometimes uh, if you use uh, if you use a chart that it is late with one minute or two you will have trouble you think that you are uh, you buy on time but you you are buying on on a bad candlestick and then you begin to lose money and you don't understand so if you are a day trader it is not like swing trading understand that swing trading we don't care about few cents up or down when you buy we buy at the end of the day it could be any price but for a day trader because you are doing a specific trade with few cents in a day you should be very very careful of the chart if you don't have a good chart and direct access don't do day trading i'm telling you from now because some people they think they buy here at a good price but the, but 
they are not buying at a good price they are buying at, at a bad price and that's why they lose a lot of money they don't understand because they think the chart is always giving the right uh, price no no you should have or you should ask your broker if he has if the chart is a direct access to the market it means what you see is accurate if the stock is twenty dollars twenty five cents it means it's twenty dollars twenty five cents and twenty five something okay you should see everything and the, ch the chart should be accurate the stream data from the exchange it should be directly to your chart okay you should make a plans where to buy where to sell okay it's not just uh, you go uh, uh, at any time you buy and then you you just exit and you uh, as someone told me I'm just playing man you are not playing with your child with your money you should never play with your money your money you should protect it if you don't know how to trade just trade in virtual make a plan try to practice for three months six months one year practice see if you are good yes or no see if you are making money and why you are making money if you are losing money why you are losing money see what is your weaknesses and work on them okay so this will happen in day trading in swing trading it always happen you should always fix your problems don't let your pro don't trade without knowing your problems okay that's why today i want to speak about stop loss if you strangle your stock it means the stock is 20 dollars you go and you put 19.95 cents it means you give it five cents how can this stock move if you stop you strangle the stock so if you put if you put tight stop losses you understand that you will exit these trades with a loss always you are not going to stay 10 10 stocks maybe nine you exit them but this nine stocks that you exit them they are going up each day how do you know just put them into a uh, a portfolio and put where you bought them and where you put your stop loss and then tomorrow or after tomorrow you see if you are right yes or no that's why I, I always tell you when you make a loser try to follow your losers what they are doing because this is how you ameliorate yourself how you progress is when you fix your problems okay now if you are doing the same problems from where do you get the money you get the same results this is uh, this is a logical thing that that everybody knows although you you know the logic the logic about that but you are not going to do this it's just because you see there is a miracle you just uh, buy and hope that the stock will do good and while you strangle the stock and you exit always and you say why i am exiting the trades it's because of you now if the stock really goes down and after days it goes down for real yes you are right to exit but most of the time you see that the stock you exit is going up again and makes a lot of money but you you are out and this you need to work on these weaknesses to work on you follow them daily i'm not saying to 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 stay the whole day watching them no at night you put all your stocks and you see them what they what they do just virtually let's say you have uh, 10 stocks you buy them virtually you search you buy them virtually on the chart and then you follow them you say i buy here according to strategies i put stop loss here so i follow I follow uh, my strategies and my stop loss and see if I am right or no even if you exit the trade virtually you should wait a few days one week or two and see if the stock goes up again if it goes up again you can buy it again 
אוקיי? Um, Tesla said, do you still love IPOs? Give an example of that you bought in the past. Listen, uh, for me, I always buy what I see good. Because IPOs, sometimes an IPO it has five years, seven years, ten years. Okay? So, for me, uh, the best thing I can do is not to see it is an IPO or not, it's not an IPO. I see the chart. If this chart is, uh, is good, yes or no. Okay? So, I don't know if... Um, let's see... I discovered this before. It's called R U by I. It's a long time ago, but uh, I solved it. Um, if you are looking for penny stocks. Okay, you should, because the rate in terms of probabilities, you should buy small amount and follow mini stocks. The ones that go good, you leave them. The one that go bad, you just exit them. So my strategy is, is working not by... Uh, I don't I don't follow the you buy it means you make money no I don't follow these rules my rules is about probabilities probabilities works with a lot of stocks not with one stock it means I don't buy a stock and I think that this is my stock for the year no I buy a lot of stocks according to my strategies and then the few stocks that I make money will cover all the losses in other small stocks this is how I work okay I am not going to be a fool to put all my money into one stock and this stock go down and it takes a lot of cash from my money so a lot of people so it's just the mindset the probabilities that I use is different from what you think. You think, for example, that if I buy a stock, it should go up. No! How, do, how would I know? I don't know the future, and I don't predict. How do I know that this stock will go up? But I buy by my strategies. This is the most effective thing I do always, to buy buy my strategies to buy according to the signal I get and you can do the search daily if something works you just leave it 
if it doesn't work you will see it one day two days three days you see that it's not going da- uh, going up it's a uh, it's a loser you just exit the loser with a small uh, small loss but for me i don't lose that much this is another problem that you should fix okay so uh, this is the thing Uh, Jason Aids, how are you Jason? You want IPOs as an example? I can show you one if you want. Um, no, listen, it's not, it's not me who wants to show, uh, to see examples. I see hundreds of stocks a, a, a day. So I, I don't, I don't have money to buy everything I want. And uh, listen, uh, Jason, we are not here to show stocks for people okay no i'm not with that so here it is just according uh, to what they want to do on a previous said when you swing trade do you look for catalyst or news as one of your strategies no on a previous i don't use a news in my trading a news can come at any time Except, except the earning news, I should know about it. It's very important. If I don't want to stay, if I have a lot of money accumulated, I exit the trade. If I want more risk, I can sell half of my shares or I I sell a lot and I leave a few as an experiment. Okay? So, news, no. I don't follow news because how can you follow news? There are hundreds of news each day, thousands of news of, t- of today. And what's this news do for me? Okay, so I don't follow news, no. How about TNDM is a good one for investing? Now listen, before I speak about this uh, TNDM, investing, it is another thing. You should have criteria about the company about competition it's not about it's not about only about the stock okay so uh, I'm not going to show stocks that you should invest in and people they buy and after a few years they get a loss and they say oh uh, you said that it is a good company no I don't say a good company and I don't play with investing investing you should have a plan You should study the criteria that you are using to choose a company. When you buy, it's you buy for 10 or 20 years. As Warren Buffett said, 20 years. Okay? So you are not buying today and you are selling tomorrow or next month. So this is something that you should understand about investing. And you should not play with trends in investing. Now, a trend, when you are a swing trader, you follow the trend. But when you are investing, you are not just, you are not looking at the trend. When you invest, it means you should look for other criteria. You should set up this criteria and go and search for companies, either new companies or old companies or whatever. And then you see if these companies will stay for 10 years or 20 years, according to the knowledge that you have according to competition okay so this is uh, this is the thing that you should you should focus on it's not uh, just you see a stock going up oh you say this is uh, for investing no it's it, it doesn't work like this but Sam said how to know if the stock is a loser when the stock trades into a range for one week and never touch your stop loss So, I will repeat again, how to know if the stock is a loser when the stock trade into a range for one week and never touch your stop loss. You think, since you know the criteria, since you know when you buy it, 
the criteria that, that you buy for is what you should look for okay and uh, Basan um, you can send me an email later with this stock and we can discuss it okay because when you buy the stock according to the criteria it is that criteria that you should look for not just your stop loss the criteria that you bought for so if the stock goes down and it doesn't touch your stop loss you can stay because it's not touched and then you can just watch this stock for one week or two or three or four and then you see sometimes a stock stays one week uh, one month or two and it's not doing anything so here you can just sell it and put it in your portfolio and when it when it comes again to your buy again you buy it again at least you don't wait for it since it is trading into a range so you have the option to sell it now and to wait for one week or two or a month or two and then when it goes up again you buy it again okay and you can uh, Bassan, you can send me uh, your stock and I can explain to you more Ora Pronobis said do you use technical analysis or fundamental what Ora Pronobis well, what's this fundamentals fundamentals is for investing I'm not investing here I told you I have never seen the name of the company and you are tell telling me fundamentals fundamentals it means when you are looking to invest in a company you look for the fundamentals you look for the for the balance sheet you look for the earnings you look for the dividend you look for competition you look of this company can expand in the future or it can collapse this is what you are looking for now swing trading is about the price I don't I don't I don't use the news how can I go to the company and check I don't care about the company I care about the trend if this stock can trend for one week or two or one month or two or three or six months and I can make a lot of money and then if this collapse again I don't care when it collapses. for me I care when there is money So you astonish me, or or a problem is, I think that you uh, that you confuse me with someone else. I have never used the fundamentals, but listen, if you are investing, you must look for fundamentals. You can't uh, buy a company for twenty years and this company is using a very slow back technology, and you know that this company will not be there in ten years. How can you buy it, this company? For example, there are some uh, companies for the cell phone. Do you remember in the 80s or 90s? We have a lot of companies that they make cell phones. Uh, right now, all these companies, they collapse. Why? Because they can't keep up with technology. They can't. They have no technology to keep up with smartphones that's why they collapse so understand that uh, there are some companies that they can't they can't compete if you can't compete the company will not sell that much if if they don't sell that much they can't make money if they can't make money mutual funds will know about that and they begin to sell shares and this company will collapse okay now um uh, Ora Pernobis said nice charts only no no listen Ora Pernobis you should understand from now that investing is not about charts no you should make sure your company is good company and it can compete in the future at least at least 20 years okay there are some companies that they stay longer because they can compete well 
and they have strategies and they have new things each time they can they can compete but some companies they collapse and i have showed you many many companies like sears like gcp there are lots of companies if you go online and google for example um bankrupt companies in 2018 for example you will find you will find it by google a lot of companies they bankrupt bankrupt it means they have a lot of debt and they can't make money okay um let's see uh, peter martin thank you uh, peter martin for your question Karim, I have been looking at Vanguard ETF in the energy sector, which has been trending. What do you think about ETFs? Now, listen. ETF, it is just a stock that attracts an index. An index has a collection of stocks. It's the average. So it depends on this, uh, on this uh, index. Because the ETF, it is just tracking an index. So, for you, you should see this index if it is a good one. So, if it is a, if it is a good one, and you want to invest in it, you can do that. But uh, energy sector always has troubles. Because politics interfere. Uh, Donald Trump want the prices down for energy for oil and gas so there is a political interference in this sector and it has suffered a lot so be careful because any word from uh, from uh, uh, Donald Trump he is a fight with OPEC uh, organization about the prices the producers want to sell with better prices because the prices are cheap and Trump want the oil for cheap so you you enter into uh, a problem with politics in your ETF anything can happen and anything can happen to this ETF okay or I probably said my go-to strategy in multi time frame continue same diction same Dixon the monthly weekly daily and I enter on the hourly candle both long and short great success rate for me okay now listen or purpose whatever you do if you are making money you just continue with it no one will stop you from what you are doing or someone told you oh you are doing bad or you are doing good it's you who knows what you are doing now the market if you know how to uh, find an opportunity and buy according to whatever strategy you have the basic thing is to make money no one will tell you anything when you are making money okay yeah you say multiple time frame continu continuity is my number one high probability strategy no i don't use i don't use uh, multiple time frame i don't play with per time frames an hourly it's not a daily and a daily it's not a monthly and a yearly it is not a one minute chart now for you uh, you uh, you uh, you do multiple time frame and you buy and you do you think that it is good for you okay that's good uh, John Sanders said is Walmart the only realty store that can compete with Walmart no no listen listen Walmart no no uh, Walmart and Amazon are different uh, sector stocks so if you want uh, if you want to compare Walmart you should compare it with the same sector industry thing 
you should Amazon it is not it is an online business Walmart it is not an online business it has a, some it, it wants to follow uh, Amazon as it does but it is not okay so John Sanders uh, Amazon you see the price of Amazon and you see the price of Walmart why Walmart doesn't go that much as Amazon in terms of price it's just because the people they love Amazon they don't love love Walmart because it has some bad reputation okay but Walmart what makes it successful is it buys so cheap because it is so big and it can buy anything and it has a success even the same thing do you know that Walmart if I tell you something about Walmart that you don't know Amazon is different Walmart is the only company that set the price when when she wants to buy a merchandise for example now Walmart goes to farmers and they say okay I will buy everything you have in everything you want you you make but let's say I will just give you an example to understand what I mean let's say uh, tomato or tomato as they pronounce it you buy it from Walmart at one dollar thirty cents now I will ask you a question do you know how much Walmart buy tomato maybe it buys it for 10 cents a pound do you understand what does it mean 10 cents and it sells with one dollar thirty how much this company will make from potato this is how Walmart do and Walmart buys by itself and sells by itself now Amazon no Amazon it has millions of suppliers and they and they work for themselves Amazon is only taking the margin it taking a commission from the sale okay but uh, Amazon is doing a lot and is doing a lot and everything is online that's why it is successful that's why people they like it okay yes we say Walmart has uh, such bad customer service but very low prices low prices I told you why now there are some small companies they they try to compete in certain items they can because they go also to some farmers and they try uh, to do the same now if there are a lot of companies they do the same one time there is another company that it is doing better than Walmart then Walmart will shrink okay so this is um, this is how it happens in the in the market WTW ticket is a prime example of uptrend when opera offre got involved then a downtrend from 11 to 100 then now 20 -ish. so what does uh, what does opera winfrey do to this stock so i don't understand the the thing oh i see i see uh i see this uh i have seen it before so you see wtw the weight uh, watches yes it was very successful at first as you can see from uh, 14 it goes to 100 
and now it is 21. Yes, it means if other companies, I don't know, if there are other companies, they compete with this. Because uh, everything that it is in the market, it's, it's going to, to be uh, parts, of the, parts of the business, of the sector. Now it's 21. With a, with a gap down here, a gap down here, a gap down here, and a gap down here. Okay? It might go down, it may go up. No one knows. So, yes, uh, when you say, when you say that, uh, uh, when you say that uh, that some people can influence stocks, yes, because uh, some people who are very very famous they can harm businesses, and these businesses, it is not uh, true that when you drink something you will uh, you will lose weight or something. It's all a game, you know, a game. Uh, if you advertise big and you are good using other a lot of people you can make a good business without anything maybe your product is less good than the other one okay uh, you say the uh, Peter said <coughs> their clients might not be losing weight yes yes it could be and understand that is a big business that's why those people who are very famous they can make some people very rich or sometimes they can make them very very bad and poor again because everything is about the people okay so uh, everything can happen with uh, with the news uh, and uh, understand that a lot of uh, a lot of companies are very known and they talk too much about them that's why they have this thing and um, uh, for IPOs yes but uh, most of the IPOs before uh, most of the time they lose money but later some of them they come back why because investors because they, the investors they buy them later when they get good analyst opinion and these companies they show that they are making money after one year two years five years these companies come come back and some because they are good at first they can just go good from the first days and you will see a lot of a lot of stocks that they do so good in the first days now uh, you, you see a lot of news and uh, you know if you follow news you will get just uh, I'm not saying you get scammed but you get a lot of entertainment okay if you go if you are going to just to see entertainment uh, for me you are just getting entertainment you are losing yeah you are losing your time because uh, most of these people they talk they don't talk because they want to talk they talk because they are paid okay anyone who advertise for another one it seems to you that it is normal but it is not normal okay I have seen some people who are very very well known people but you understand when they lie they lie about products and they say if you get this you will be better but it is not but because they are very known and people they trust them People, they buy blindly. If now, anyone who, who is very famous, in a good health, he show muscles, he is very lean, okay? He, he, he takes any crap product, and he say, if you drink this, you'll be like me. All the people, they will drink. Because they, they, they don't know that the drink is not a miracle thing, okay? They see the person who is saying. That's why... You should always, always, 
differentiate between the product and what you see now um, as I uh, said to you before so or I maybe said I like charts like ticker L where there is exhaustion risk and profit taken I look for short entry okay you can uh, if you have uh, some kind of strategies or techniques you can use and each time you use you can make some money that's that's very good thing okay now as I told you about uh, uh, the second thing we have talked about is uh, stop loss S a lot of people they misuse the stop loss they don't understand why we use them and that's why they exit always with a stop loss other people they don't use it at all and they get uh, bigger losses they have the same problem so each one should uh, see the problem and try to fix it before it will be very very big losses because what makes the people really losers is when they continue losing big chunks of their money when they trade okay or you can lose money bits of money that you are not supposed to lose at all if you if you have stock at twenty dollars and you put stop loss at 19.95 you, you give five cents or ten cents you will understand that you exit this stock next day you will exit 99.99 you will exit okay so this is not a stop loss this is a misuse of stop loss now when you uh, misuse a stop loss you exit a lot now I will tell you a way to see if you are right or no with your stop loss whenever you exit a stock with a stop loss what you should do put it in a portfolio put the lines I will show you right now how to do it uh, at least uh, a lot of people um, they don't know about this I will uh, I will show you okay please check this okay uh, I just give you an example okay now I used uh, let's say here I use always the green line for the price let's say you bought the stock at $20 25 cents now you put the line and here on your chart you will find $25 dollars 25 cents this is the chart that you are looking here okay this is your chart now you should use your stop loss and put a price let's say oh no 20 dollars mistaken twenty dollars this is the, uh, the this is your buy the buy point always always put the line i will show you right now with the chart just to make sure you understand stop loss let's say let's say you put 20 dollars just an example okay this is your stop loss stop loss now the stock was going up you buy it here okay you buy it here then the stock is going down and it hits your stop loss so now you exit what you should do this stock is called XYZ now leave the information like this don't 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 erase the line leave the line you can put another line with a, with an, a blue line here like this this is the day you bought the stock let's say it is january 25 just an example okay 2019 25 26 27 here you exit it means on thursday now 
you exit on Friday it goes up again and it is 21 21 dollars so after a few days let's say if one day the stock goes up again to your and it goes more than you the buy of before now what does it what does it mean it means that your stop loss here is false okay and even if it is false it doesn't mean that you are wrong because you put stop loss according to your uh, risk tolerance it's not about because of the stock it's about your risk tolerance but sometimes sometimes if you put a very tight you put a very tight stock stop loss very very tight you should exit every time because the stock should move up and down now what if the stock continues to go down the few days like this now it is 21 here you understand that you are right and your stop loss was an excellent thing that you have done because the stock continues to go down it means the trend maybe has finished or your entry was not good so always put these two lines one line you can change the color blue or whatever the buy the buy number one the stop loss number two and the day you bought number three and then you continue you put it in a portfolio and you watch the stock what it does if the market will go up again it means you are wrong but if the market goes down it means that you are right and i always use the green and the red for stop loss green for the buy and you can use any uh, any line here so uh, with the chart with the chart will be uh, will be very easy okay let's say let's say this uh, stock just to give you an example let's say you you bought it here this is a green uh this is just an example okay let's say the stock has a gap down and then you see it's going up you think that the stock will go up you bought it on this day so and then you put stop loss here and the stock goes up it goes down it goes up it goes up but this day it goes down you can here is let's say your stop loss you can put a vertical line here where you bought now these three lines you can change this color this color whatever you want for example let's say you want to put blue as your now for you after after one month or two or three you can see where is your stock after you bought it and you sold it has it going up or has it going down since the stock has been going down what does it mean here that you have done excellent because you get rid of a stock that it is a loser how do you know it's a loser after a few weeks a few days if the stock is still going down here you, you bought it let's say you bought it at 51 now it is 21 but if you don't put stop loss and you leave it you leave the stock for many weeks many months you can lose a lot of money because you don't know now here let's say the stock here continue to go up like this you can buy it again because because here you bought it here and you can bought it here again if it continues to go up but unfortunately this stock didn't go now if you leave this in your here in your portfolio when you put your portfolio here if you leave it for one year two years you will still have this stock in portfolio so that's why in order to make portfolio is very easy you go like this 
okay this is the the news okay you go here and I have a lot of uh, you put in you and you say for example portfolio uh, you put for example my trades let's say let's say let's say March any trade that you do in March just an example okay 2019 now this portfolio you put all the stocks either winners or losers in in your trade in your uh, portfolio here and then any stock that you put you put the symbol for example fb it's here uh you put ad you put you put facebook in there let's say you want to put twitter just an example but you put it in the day you want to buy it and then put put the lines and leave them okay so you see here second of March 2019 profit of loss there is none because you just put them and this is the percentage how the how the stock goes up by percentage you bought 100 shares you can change this if you bought 500 1000 you can put it and this is the price the enterprise that you that you buy the stock now I will um, I will show you um, uh, something okay when you want to for example you bought you bought the stock and you don't know which price you, you should go to your broker and see what's the price and then you click the line because this line you can remove it let's say you, today you bought the stock you go to your broker you see how much you bought the stock at you put the line like this is just in general and then you click that you put edit and then you put the price let's say it is $51.80 you can change that and you put the green as your color where you bought because you should put colors that doesn't change for me I always put green for the buy uh, red for stop loss okay so I don't change them the whole 10 years I have never changed them. Why? Because I don't want to be mistaken. Even if, if I see a stock that I bought three years ago, I see where I bought it, I see where is my stop loss, I see where I bought it, I see the day I bought it. Very, very important information. Three very, very important information. The day where you bought it, the price, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter when you bought it and the day, because for me, I buy always at the, at the end of the day. I don't buy in the morning. And your stop loss. That's it. This information are very, very important for you. Okay? Now, or I probably said I set my stop loss outside everyone else and the noise. Yes, it depends where you put your stop loss, but understand stop loss it is not about not to be triggered, not to exit the trade. No. The stop loss it is not about that. The stop loss is about to see your risk. If you you put it outside and very far away. And you are losing $2,000 in this trade if, if, if it gets there. But understand that if it gets there, you lose this $2,000. And sometimes when you see $2,000, you see it's too much for you because you have given too much to the market. So understand that you should, should always see where you put it and understand that at any time you can exit the trade. Now, another question. Do you use trailing stops when stock is going great? No. No, I don't use. And I have explained this idea before. So, uh, because we have uh, around six minutes, I will explain to you trailing stops, why, why it doesn't work for me. That's why I have training level seven, how to follow the trend. So I will just show you why it doesn't work. Okay, 
Now, for those people who don't understand what is a trailing stop, okay, let's say here. Trading stops. What does it mean? Now, let's say the stock is twenty dollars, twenty-five cents. This is the buy. Okay. You put stop loss at nineteen twenty-five cents. This is your stop loss. Now, if you put your stop loss at nineteen dollars twenty-five cents. So here, from twenty twenty-five to nineteen, your training stop is one dollar. Now, let's say the stock goes to twenty-one twenty-five. So, what is your stop loss? stop loss change it directly to 20 25 this is your stop loss because it changes one dollar the problem is that it will stay here if the stock goes to 25 21 dollars 25 it goes to it again this twenty dollars twenty five it will be triggered and you will be out now for me i don't use a definite price to exit for all the time it's not the same so that's why i don't use it i don't use automatic when the trend is going up i have other techniques and this is training level seven how to follow the trend so following the trend will never work with training with trailing stops it will never work because the 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 trend can go like this if it go like this you will exist at any time so you will not be in the trend so you lose money okay Okay, so Aura probably said I never use training stops. Yes, that's why I don't use them for a reason. And uh, as I told you before, um, for this uh, live session, we say the earning news uh, and uh, the stop loss are basic things that you should know about and you should not get trapped in them. Because when you when you do mistakes, and especially when you don't know that you are doing such mistakes, you will continue doing the same mistakes, and then you have the same results. Okay, and this is one of the problems that most of the traders uh, they do when they are following uh, following trends. Stop loss is for day traders and for swing traders also. Uh, so they are not the same when you uh, when you are a day trader or you are you are a swing trader it, it should not be the same because the time frame is not the same when you are doing two minutes a chart or five minutes chart it is not like swing trading which is daily chart okay so thank you very much guys for this uh, nice uh, chat uh, live session Please, if you have any questions, you just ask. Okay. Uh, Ordinary said, I like swing and day trading. It was good being in your chat tonight. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, please, uh, if you have more questions, you can send me an email. You find it in the, you can find my email always in the, in any video. Send me an email. If you want the, uh, the free training level one or the, tra the chart training, Please send me an email. Thank you very much and see you.